Scripture for today is found in Daniel chapter 1, verses 9 to 14. Now God granted Daniel favor and compassion in the sight of the commander of the officials. The commander of the officials said to Daniel, I am afraid of my lord the king, who has allotted your food and your drink. For why should he see your faces looking gaunt in comparison to the youths who are your own age? 
then you would make me forfeit my head to the king. But Daniel said to the overseer, whom the commander of the officials had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, Please put your servants to the test for ten days, and let us be given some vegetables to eat and water to drink. Then let our appearance be examined in your presence and the appearance of the youths who are eating the king's choice food, and deal with your servants according to what you see. So he listened to them in this matter, and put them to the test for ten days. Own it up. When God blesses you with favor from other people, do you take advantage or do you take responsibility? I admire how Daniel took responsibility after drawing the line by asking Ashpenaz to test them first within 10 days. 10 is not really symbolic, but it's a good enough day to show the results of his conviction not to eat the royal food. He knew and understood that Ashpenaz might get punished because of them. He did not take advantage of the favor given to them by God. In a way, Daniel also gave back the responsibility to the Lord. He did not know what would happen after 10 days. He only had a heart that believed God would honor his conviction to follow the law. And if we continue reading the passage, God showed himself faithful in Daniel and his friends' lives. Daniel and his friends came from the royal or noble heritage. He experienced having plenty and being privileged. But that time, they had to follow. They were exiled and poor. But it did not change his allegiance. His commitment was purely God's. He did not take advantage of the favor but use it to glorify God even further. He was then raised as a prophet, continuously inspiring and relevant today. Prayer Lord, may you help me be responsible for all blessings you have given me. Also, help me trust you, especially when I cannot do anything but wait and things are out of my control. In the process, may others see Jesus in me, and may you be glorified alone. In Jesus' name, amen.